Ever pondered the journey of sugar from the farm to your pantry? It's a fascinating process that requires a blend of nature's bounty and human ingenuity. The story of sugar begins in tropical climates, where sugarcane, a type of tall perennial grass, thrives. Farmers plant sugarcane cuttings, then wait patiently for 12 to 16 months as the plants mature under the sun's watchful gaze. Harvesting time arrives, and fields of sugarcane sway under the hands of workers. They cut down the mature cane stalks, bundle them together, and then transport these bundles to a sugar mill. The mill is where the magic happens. In the mill, the sugarcane stalks go through a process called milling. They're crushed under heavy rollers to extract the juice, a sweet liquid that's packed with sucrose. Picture this. The cane is crushed not once, not twice, but three times to ensure every drop of juice is squeezed out. Meanwhile, the leftover crushed stalks, or bagasse, don't go to waste. They're often used as a biofuel to power the mill itself, illustrating a beautiful cycle of sustainability. Now, back to the juice. It's cloudy and impure at this stage, so it needs some cleaning. Lime is added to the juice, which helps precipitate impurities. Then, it's heated to evaporate water, and voila! A thick syrup is formed. This syrup isn't sugar yet. It's put into a centrifuge, a machine that spins at high speed. The spinning forces the syrup to crystallize into raw sugar. But there's one more step before the sugar can grace your kitchen shelves. The raw sugar is shipped to a refinery, where it's washed and filtered to remove any remaining impurities, then dissolved, crystallized, and dried one more time. The result is the white granulated sugar we know and love. Sugar is also be made from beets through a process called sugar extraction and refining. Here's a general overview of how sugar is made from sugar beets. Sugar beets are harvested by uprooting them from the ground. The harvested beets are cleaned to remove dirt and debris. They are then sliced into thin strips called cassettes. The cassettes are soaked in hot water to extract the sugar from the beet cells, forming a sugar-rich solution called beet juice. Similar to sugarcane juice, the beet juice undergoes a clarification process to remove impurities. The clarified beet juice is then concentrated through evaporation to form a thick syrup. The concentrated beet syrup is further processed to crystallize the sucrose, similar to the process for sugarcane. The sugar crystals are separated from the remaining liquid, beet molasses, through a centrifuge process. The separated sugar crystals are dried and packaged for distribution and sale, just like sugarcane sugar. So, the next time you sprinkle sugar on your morning cereal or stir it into your coffee, take a moment to appreciate the journey it has undergone. From the sun-drenched tropical fields to the bustling sugar mills and refineries, each step in the process brings us closer to that sweet, granulated goodness. The process of sugar production is a testament to the marvels of nature and human innovation, working in harmony to deliver sweetness right to our doorsteps. F. Or more videos of how things are made, like and subscribe.